it's all about the championship mindset. When you come and you don't love it, it's evident. If you want to be the best, you have to play the best. We have to fight for it. You're supposed to be enjoying the good and the bad. In a journey, you learn from your mistakes. If you want to be great, you don't really have a choice. You're either going to show up or you're not. And it's that competitive edge that is ultimately going to lead to a team that's hungry to win every single moment, every single inning, every single day. A historic pursuit for a national championship starts tonight. Can Oklahoma get it done again? We're about to find out what a ride it's going to be. Oklahoma Sooner softball is back. Sid Romero will talk about quite a bit, obviously. The first time that Sid hasn't been in a Sooner dugout to start a season since 2015. She's definitely someone that I would want my daughter coached by. And, uh, you know, she's been kind of my right-hand man as a GA. Coach Gasso has had the biggest impact on me when it came, comes to playing and coaching. Um, she's someone I've always looked to and have strived to become. And coaching has always been something that has been in my heart. And seeing her coach and the way she coaches and approaches people and just works with people is something um, that I want to be known as as well. I love when they go into coaching because it also means that they had a good experience with us at Oklahoma. She was just a big mentor for me. I knew I could always come to her um, and she just got it. She understood and she was always there for us. I think it's so great to see her living out her dream. She is an awesome coach and I know she's gonna be amazing. OU softball is a sisterhood and she was able to teach us things that you aren't gonna get really on the field because obviously Coach Gass was having to deal with 20 athletes at one time, but Sid would work with us and just help us with the mentality aspect and just being able to adapt. I really, really look forward to the day when I'm done coaching and I can go sit and watch these guys and critique them from the stands. <laughs> A hard hit ball, right field deep, ball on her way to second. The first run of the season is a two out RBI double by Jordy Ball. Bounce to first, runners coming home, the throw's wide, Lions is safe! Here's the 2-2, swinging him. Strike out for a Jordy ball. 1-0 is sky to center field, this should do it. Jada Coleman is under it, makes the catch. Win column Sooners, game over. Oklahoma starts the 2023 campaign with a shutout win over Duke. We're just so versatile. We have a lot of tools in our belt, and I think being able to bring so many different aspects to the game is going to propel us to be really good. Honestly, that wasn't necessarily our best. It really showed the strength of our pitching staff. Swing and a miss! Nicole May, 10 Ks on the day. And obviously our defense was just on lock. Back up the middle to second for one to first. Are you kidding me? Alex Duraco makes her Sooner debut. Cold strike three. Taraco, strikeout number six. We just kind of kept going and we have a lot of fight. I think a really great thing about it is that we showed that we're capable of still being in a ball game at any point in the game. We don't just hit home runs. We don't just bunt. We don't just have a great slap game. We do all of these things and I think that in the long run, you have to be able to have so many different tools in your toolbox. Tonight, the most anticipated matchup of the Mark Campbell Classic. It's Oklahoma and Washington. Are you? Are you? And rocks and fires, and we're underway on a Saturday night in Los Angeles. Line deep to center field. Coleman watches it fly out of here. The 2 1. Ground ball back up the middle and through in the center field, a base hit. Jennings is rounding third. She'll slide in safely. Here's the 1 0. Oh, it's a squeeze. It's a squeeze. Leah saved the squeeze, but works to perfection. The base hit bobbled by Boone, rounding third and heading home is Klingler. Boone will throw to second, where safe is 3 to 2. My previous at bat, I had watched a pitch down the middle and I knew, like, oh, I should hit that. Moving on to the next at bat, I told myself if she throws it there, I'm going for it. Lifted deep to right center field, and it's gone! I did this weird little hop, rounding first. I'm a very emotional, passionate player, so when I see my team just get so into it, like, they bring that out of me. I make eye contact with coach, and it's like, let's go. And I, I just love those moments. Line drive, base hit into right field, and Washington has the go-ahead run at second base in the top of the seventh inning. Pitch from May. 
ground it to the right side of Sanders, pops up on her, she gloves it, steps on the bag, ends it. Game over, win column Sooners. And Oklahoma takes out Washington in a nail biter. It's gone! A three run home run from Sophia Nugent. Nine strike out of the game for Jordy Ball. Brito bombs one, make it 10 nothing Sooners. Hammer. And Oklahoma is rolling in Waco. 22 to nothing. T R R A. Swing and a miss. You make a mistake, the Sooners make you pay. The pitch from Ball. Swing and a miss. A no hitter. Oklahoma wins at 9 0. A look to stay undefeated tomorrow against the Baylor Bears. They're feisty, hardworking, blue collar, hustling, fighting. Ground ball to the 5 6 hole and through the wickets into left field. Drives in Alina Torres and the Sooners jump on top one. To infield in for the Sooners. First pitch line drive center field face in. And we are tied in Waco. Lifted deep to left field. It's a three run home run. We head to the sixth. Sooners need a rally. They trail Baylor four to one. Line drive into left field. A base hit deep to center field. It'll take a hop and bounce off the wall. Here comes Avery Hodge. She'll score. Here's the 2-2 to Jennings. Bounce back up the middle. Cut off it short. They'll get the out at first. But the run scores to make it 4-3. to three. Lifted. Center field. Not deep enough. The catch is made by Wilson. And Baylor storms the field after handing Oklahoma its first loss of the season. Before we even start the season, I, I preface it by saying we're going to lose games. When we lose, everything starts to open up and all the things that we just get away with are now brought to everybody's attention. I think we learned a lot of things, not only about ourselves, but as a team as a whole. So I think the loss brought us together. We had some good team conversation and we were able to be completely honest with each other and how we felt about the weekend and there was no judgment. Everybody was all in, both feet in, everybody was ready to go. Growth does not come if you just keep winning. And that's something that I admire about Coach Gasso because she took it and flipped it within a matter of days. Continue to stay on track in the way we do things. That's what's important is that we don't change what we do because what we're doing usually is good enough. You have no idea what's coming. In a journey, you're supposed to be enjoying the good and the bad. You learn from your mistakes. We're never going to forget that pain that we got from losing to Baylor. It gave us a fire that wasn't ignited and the growth that came from one loss was astounding. Gorgeous day in Cathedral City, California. Sooner softball is back in the Mary Nutter Classic. It's one of those tournaments that you really look forward to. Being able to play this kind of caliber um, softball this early is just a test. Off speed hammer, deep to left field. Oh, don't even chase it. Sophia Nugent, touch them all. They'll send the runner. Boone throws a laser home. Nugent with the tag, they got her. Every game out there on the field is so competitive and to have such a tough schedule going in and it's week three, I think it's only gonna make everyone in the country better. Bounce, high chopper to second, backhanded by Jennings to throw. Oh, they got her! You really find where you're at and you're able to grow from that. Swing and a miss! Win column Sooners! <laughs> It's really cool to just be a part of that progression of softball and, and hearing people wanting to turn it on at Buffalo Wild Wings or sports bars and, and knowing that that's the game that people want to watch. You see Patrick Mahomes like tweeting about it, like it's most definitely growing. I think people are starting to enjoy this fast paced softball game. It's game changing for the entire sport. For younger girls, it's only going to help their dreams be even higher and be even bigger because now they're seeing that so much more is possible at such a younger age. Being able to see that kind of support, I think, is just second to none. You get a great environment around you, and you know, there's no better way to play softball. Today, in one of the most anticipated early season college softball matchups, it's number one UCLA and number two Oklahoma. Welcome to sunny Palm Springs, a standing room only crowd. There is not a seat to be found. 
I'm excited for this game today. This is going to be a huge environment. Here we go. Lift it deep to center field. It's got a chance. Oh, it's gone. To left field at the fence. It's gone. Jennings blast one. Deep to left field. Oh, it's long gone, baby. Are you kidding me? Haley Lee pops one out of here. That is the fourth home run of the inning for the Sooners. <laughs> Let's go! We were just sticking to our game plan. Coach JT really knows what he's doing. And he really set us up for success going into that game. Slide and catch! Jada Coleman went head first. Swing and a miss. Strike three. The one, two. Add another strikeout. Oh, Alex Duraco fired up as she pops out of the circle and bumps her fist. Hanson launches one. Way out of here! An absolute bomb! A moonshot! We didn't let anything on the outside of our blinders affect what we were doing. And I think that that's something that we take pride in, is being able to lock in and focus and keep our blinders on. Because that's what allows us to stick to our game plan. Jada Coleman who makes the catch! When Column Sooners, game over! There's no doubt who the number one team is in college softball after today. Final score, Oklahoma 14, UCLA nothing. I was very excited to get back to the field this week. I just wanted to be with my team. Kinsey Hansen, an appendectomy, missed the first two weeks of the season. Hansen just is someone that hates taking a rep off, so I know that these last two weeks have just absolutely killed her. 3-2 to Hansen. Pokes it deep to right field and burn the right fielder. It'll get to the wall. And it's an RBI double on the first at bat of the season for Kinsey Hansen, who flexes on him at second base. She's on a mission. Last year, her injuries really kept the season away from her that she wanted, so she's just determined. I just think her leadership on the field is something that we always need. I've learned a lot through my injuries last year. Um, it was very difficult and I allowed my injury to absorb me, kind of, and it was very difficult mentally and that's something that I feel like a lot of people don't really talk about. What I learned is that I have, I'm so much more than a softball player and God's healing really is different because he made me sit there and I had to reflect a lot on who I was off the field. And that's something that, you know, I wish I could say, say that I would go back and change it, but I wouldn't be the person that I am today if I didn't get injured. And I wouldn't be the leader that I am today if I didn't get injured. Before, I know that I could be a little selfish at sometimes, and I'll admit that. And now I know that whatever the 2023 Sooner softball team, what they need from me, I'll be there. Whether I have holes in me or not, I'm gonna give 100% and empty my tank. Swing and a miss, strikeout number 11. And it's a grand slam. Back to back to back home runs. Line drive caught by Lilio to first double play. What a day for the Oklahoma Sooner softball team. Swing and a miss, a perfect game from Jordy Paul. Absolutely launched out of here by Alyssa Brito. Hammer to left field, pretty deep. A big fist pump from Haley Lee. And the Sooners are cooking. The top ranked Oklahoma Sooners and the sixth ranked Florida State Seminoles. The series is all tied at eight apiece. 15 of the 16 prior meetings have been on a neutral site. So it's special to have two of the best programs in college softball here. That was a fun atmosphere. Felt like a super regional style game. Hammer, I mean, absolutely blasted out of here. Jennings hammers one, this one scores. Definitely felt the atmosphere. The fans were awesome tonight. We were all just really excited and pumped up. Deep to left center field and way out of here. Florida State takes the lead. Back and forth, but ultimately the ultimate goal is for it to make us better. That looked like it went off of Dubois' shin. It's gonna roll out into shallow left field for a base hit and in to give the Sooners the lead. Absolutely froze her. Cold strike three. We love the competition that we've gotten to face this early in the season. And that is six consecutive strikeouts for Jordy Ball. Jennings throws to first. Ball game. The final score in Norman. Five to four. Either one of us could have won this game tonight, and it wasn't a deal breaker for anything. I mean, if we're not number one right now, we don't care. We want to get better. It was just a good 
feeling of what intense competition feels like. I think we're just kind of cruising. Obviously don't want to be at our peak right now. We want to be in our peak in late May and June, but kind of just checking off the list and like all the little things that we need to get done, not beating teams or winning or losing, but like just working on our craft. It is time to get a well-deserved rest and rejuvenate and kind of start the next one-third of our season. We set the foundation now. It's about something. Now it's about winning a championship, just bringing Kyle back to your university. So that's kind of what our focus now gets to turn to.